You understand what this means, don't you? This spell I'm casting tonight will bind you all together as one. You're aware our mother cares nothing for you. Come along. I understand. We have much to do. Nicholas, I assure you, my mother loves me. I love my family. I love all my children. She loves all of her children. Yes, mother. You here to see my mother? That'll be all, Finn. Thank you. The last time we met, you were helping our mother try to annihilate a lot of us. When it is time, we will be ready to die. Just do as you're told, Carl. Oh, of course. Finn the sycophant speaks up. You were daggered for being an ever-simpering <laughs> sycophant. You're going to grovel at your mother's heels for well, eternity or what? Did mother bring you back from the dead so you could wash her knickers? She raised me because I was treated unfairly. And you, how pathetic you are, Finn. Fittingly enough, are the boar. Cheating! Out of all but the smallest portion of my life! He would not exist without the sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice, it's a gift. I would have done anything for you. And you're just willing to die. While well, the favorite son plays sacrificial lamb. A mother cares for her children. A monster does not. My mother. The devoted acolyte. Our mother destroyed him. His love all too easily warped by our mother's sick hate. She who gave me life. But they are an abomination. Nicholas, we didn't choose to become <laughs> what we are. Drink! To be or not to be was taken from us by Esther and Michael Stone. We were a family once. <laughs> I remember the love between you. How happy you were that I was your son. My sweet child. I remember it all. You're a hypocrite. Instead, you had them. The monsters you call children. You speak of purification. But tonight's spell links all my children together so that if one goes... Not just class, she wants to kill. They all go. She wants to kill us all, doesn't she? Our family could live forever. Of cleansing the souls of our family and yet you cave to temptation rather than standing with your principle. My only regret... Elijah! ...is that I did not let you die a thousand years ago. Forever is a burden that nobody should have to bear. You don't want to see it, but I'm trying to help people like you. And for that, I will not stop until every single vampire in New Orleans has ceased to exist, and I will show you mercy to anyone who dares stand with them. You will all pay. You see, Finn, like Father, <laughs> you've always despised our supernatural existence. My mother's released me from an eternity of shame. We're still the monster you've always been. <laughs> That a witch has condemned me. What have you done to, me? to this? You despised us. You are all filthy gluttons. You despise yourself. I just locked you in that body that you hate so much. To remain a beast. To remain ever the dullard. Whereas you, you became pretentious and dull. Elijah. Terrified of everything that we became. The last remaining white oak in the world. I can't bear an eternity with no hope of escape. Finn's innocent. So yeah, I came out mad. And I remain so. But I do not believe in redemption. There can be no reconciliation between me and my brothers. Can you? Finn's return is an opportunity to mend old wounds and fix what's broken. I'd still rather die than be part of this wretched family. Finn's dead. <laughs> Finn has tried to kill the rest of us more than once. He's an enemy of our family. He is our family. You killed my brother? So much for the unbreakable bonds of family, huh? Finn is now safe from home. We can't be killed. Let's all say a prayer for Finn, who slept in a box longer than he lived as a man. That doesn't stop the class from finding ways to torture us. He's better off in death. Always and forever indeed. He has a set of mystical silver daggers. One in the heart sends us into a deep slumber. Although I am curious why you kept me daggered in a box for so long. He likes to be prepared for when his family members inevitably disappoint him. When blood relations let me down, I don't stop to reason with them. I remove them. Remember, I spent 900 years lying daggered in a box. Why do our family remain in these coffins? Finn, for over 900 years. He keeps your coffin on standby. So I believe him. 900 years in a box. He stored us in boxes. Klaus gets his jollies from keeping us in a box until he decides to pull the dagger out. 900 years in a box just rolls off your tongue as if the time passed without consequence. 
Being daggered in a box for decades sucks. Being daggered for decades and being daggered for centuries are very different things. Trust me. I'm sure you did not. I was made that way because of that box! It starts off as a dim pinprick of light, growing brighter year after year. Every time I close my eyes, no, no. I go back to that black no. horizon. No. A slow consciousness. But I was paralyzed. Don't leave me Entombed in my own mind. Don't leave me alone. A place where I was abandoned and forgotten. That despair. Utter loneliness. No. And I'm no. endless. Why is he talking like this? By my own family. It's hallucinations about betrayal. It's his nightmare. <laughs> Today, we stick together as one. I saw a glimpse of you coveted. Always and forever. Always and forever. We are here. You are not alone. To living life to the fullest.